So I'm gonna should I just like play some chords? Yeah, 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 yeah. Juicy chords. Yeah. Alright, juicy. Wait, okay. All right. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe like It's a platform where we say, tell us about your life, tell us about your emotions, how are you feeling? I think that's something that Finding Rhythms does that I don't see very much elsewhere. Almost like the main thing that we do is we allow a space for the guys and the girls to be listened to. I think that's super powerful and I think it's really understated. You know, I'm a red dead Prison is a difficult environment to be in and that kind of forward future thinking is really powerful I find. What do you see in the future? Can you imagine a better future for yourself? And that's really powerful as a tool to kind of like bring them out of the space they're in. But with prison, you kind of meet these guys and they're just so ready for something meaningful to happen. And it's, it's a real blessing to be able to like be the person who comes in and it's like, guys, we're gonna make an album. Let's like kind of like clean the slate, let's have some fun, let's think about some cool concepts to do and stuff. Yeah. See Getting them to reflect on how a lot of the skills you use in music can be used on the outside world. I think it's really important, like the skills that it, that it takes to make an album with each other can be used mm -hmm. in like things like employment in the future for them and stuff. Express myself. They said express myself before I walk up in this booth. But yeah, there's a song called Mirror Mirror. They came to us one day and they were like, we've written this song about mental health. Fran, the clinical psychiatrist, was saying these are some of the hardest guys in the prison to reach. And me and Tabo were like, we found that a bit strange because they were so immediately open with us. And it's so deep and the lyrics just like hit me every time. It's absolutely amazing. Like I'm really proud to have worked on that piece with those guys because they just really delved inside themselves and you know, gave us something amazing. At Woodhill, at the end of the final project, we did this incredible listening session where the guys, they kind of dj through the whole album and they each stood up and they talked about the different songs and they tag team between each other and they were like, oh, you take this one, you take this one, you talk about this. And it was amazing to see those guys sort of stand up in front of the governors, the security governor, loads of guards, just like all the, all the official people in the prison were all there listening to them because they were, at that moment, they were artists and they had been like validated in all their efforts and stuff. It was amazing and it was super emotional for me and Tavo as well because it was, it's so nice to see those people like elevated. It was fantastic and very emotional for all of us. I think. For mental health, it got me stressed. Agitation.